With a vaccine coming, we could be at the beginning of the end of the pandemic. And yes, I just said those words. And while a lot of the credit to that vaccine belongs to the researchers, the success of the vaccine is dependent on the thousands of people who were willing to participate in the trials and potentially risk their own health in the process. My next guest is one of those brave souls, and she is just 16 years old. Joining me now is 16-year-old Pfizer vaccine trial participant, Melanie. Although, Melanie, I'm going to caveat by saying caveat it by saying that I think I was a lot braver when I was 16 years old uh, than I am right now. Still, kudos to you. Uh, what was it like being a part of this? Did you did you get nervous? Yeah, I mean, it didn't really hit me until I was initially there, but I knew that I was doing it, you know, for a good cause. And it's important, you know, that people of color, especially, but also people in my age group um, are represented in the trial. And, and why, how did you get involved when you found out there were trials? Did you go to your parents and say, you got to get me into one of these? <laughs> yeah, so actually both my parents did the trial as well. And I did it about a month later and my mom had asked me. And at first I was like, mm, and then I decided, you know, it's something it's something I'm called to do, you know. Uh, you know, with the U.S. surpassing 200,000 deaths, it's hard um, as a teenager um, to watch. So it was really important that I did it and participated and I stand by my decision. Did you feel any side effects or have you so far? No. One of like the large misconceptions is that like it's possible to get COVID. It's actually not possible to get COVID from the vaccine um, whatsoever. Um, I did my first dose a couple weeks ago and I have a second one in mid-December, but um, nothing other than like a sore arm after a flu shot. Um, no fatigue, no headache. Are they warning you about anything that could come after the second dose? No, I, I know I, there's a plenty, plenty articles, but I really trust Cincinnati Children's Hospital um, and them leading it. Um, and I'm confident that, you know, this is this is what has to happen in order to get it publicly administered. How do you feel knowing that a Pfizer vaccine is days, weeks away from being approved here, already approved in the UK, knowing that you were and you are a part of it? Yeah, I, you know, I'm proud um, to know that I'm a part of the change. And it's really, really important, you know, people on the front lines, um, quality of education, you know, is even being affected. And also, you know, mental health as well, not just the physical health, but mental health, um, especially in my age group. It's really hard, um, you know, seeing people my age affected. So I think it's giving Americans just like that glimpse of hope that we need. And I'm glad to be a part of that. Not for nothing, but this would make a really good college application essay. Um, <laughs> Melanie, thank you so much for joining us. You don't have to take my advice. I'm just thinking that not very many people will be will, will be able to put that down on paper. Um, thank you so much for, for coming on and okay. sharing your experience. And thank you for being a part of this and helping us all get over what has just been a, a terrible, terrible time. Um, good luck. And that's going to do it for me today. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.